This is a handmade canoe. We use it to inspire the younger kids here. Uh, it's, it's designed for nothing but carrying goods and people, and that's what we're trying to do with our architecture, make them as simple and as functional and as, uh, as purposeful as possible. The evolution of sustainable design has been an organic process. We're constantly learning new things. You see the swan there? Oh my god. It's actually a stormwater detention treatment area, which is treating the stormwater off the roadway and putting it back into the lagoon and into the ocean. Our view of the future is that the separation between humans and nature will disappear. <laughs> Check up on the boys, make sure they're doing a good job. <laughs> Nature's in jeopardy, uh, the biosphere is in trouble. So now we need to nurture nature. The pine beetles are flourishing and eating the forest because of global warming. So we're salvaging the wood that's killed by these beetles and we're making buildings out of it. Remember the first ore crunch in the 70s? Many European countries wean themselves off their dependence on oil. Oil got cheap and they stayed the course. In North America we just got back to business as usual and sustainable design retreated to be a fringe culture. We've got to change that model. Okay, here we are at George Weeburn Park. What it means is we've got to live in compact downtown buildings so that we can walk everywhere. All of these buildings have green roofs all over them. It's one of the reasons why the carbon footprint of Vancouver as a city is actually decreasing. So you can just take a ferry across there and you've got all your groceries, they've got theaters. And I'm intrigued and interested in all of these types of things that we could do as architects that heal nature, where all of the systems that humans need, whether it's sewage disposal, warm water, or even food, are provided by the nature around the building. This building can live off the rainwater that falls on it because it's raining all the time. <laughs> At long last, we're actually improving and giving back to nature in the way we design and use our buildings.